Next on Book TV's Afterwards, American University professor Ibram Kendi argues that America must choose to be anti-racist and work towards building a more equitable society. He's interviewed by Imani Perry, author and Princeton University African American Studies professor. When a eugenicist were classified as racist, they said, I'm not racist. When, when right. Jim Crow segregationists were charged with being racist, they said, I'm not racist. Mm -hmm. and, and now today, even white nationalists are <laughs> right. saying, I'm not racist, right. no matter whether they're in the White House or you know, uh, planning the next mass shooting. And, and so I don't think people realize how much fundamentally this has been a term of denial that mm -hmm. that has really, all I've been able to really uncover of its meaning right. has been this sort of way to deny and, you know, one's own racism. Mm -hmm. While anti-racist has a clear philosophy, it has a clear history, just mm -hmm. as racist has a clear philosophy and a clear history. Right, so what I think is really um, interesting and powerful about that move is that it gets the reader and the potential sort of person operating in community shaped by this book out of the question of sort of guilt, right? Yeah. So, so the point isn't really whether or not you personally are a racist. The point is, what are you doing about mm -hmm. how racism pervades every possible aspect of life in yes. this nation, right? Precisely. And, and I think that's, I think many people say they are not racist mm -hmm. because they think racist is like a tattoo that they right. that if they say they're <laughs> racist they'll put somebody will put a racist on their forehead they'll never be able to escape it right they think it is a fixed category mm -hmm. they believe it is a fundamentally a bad person mm -hmm. they believe a racist is a person who is hooded who's right. a white nationalist right, right? who is a, a segregationist. Mm -hmm. And so they're like, I'm not many of those things. I'm a good person, right. I'm against the Klan, I'm not racist. Right. But it's a descriptive term, mm -hmm. right? And, and it describes what a person is, is doing in the moment. And so right. when a person is saying that um, a particular racial group is, is inferior, they're being a racist. When, when a person is right. doing nothing mm -hmm. in the face of racial inequity, they're being racist. When a person is literally supporting persons and policies um, and power that is creating and reproducing racial inequity and injustice, they're being racist. Right. The, one of the most dominant and, and um, harmful um, anti-black racist ideas of the 20th century was the idea of the broken black family yes, and the patriarchal black woman. Mm -hmm. um, I should say matriarchal, who was mm -hmm. harming the black family mm -hmm. and the black community and so on and so forth. That idea, of course, was popularized by, by Daniel Patrick Moynihan, mm -hmm, right. as you know. But in his Moynihan report in 1965, he repeatedly cited a black scholar right. in E. Franklin, Franklin Frazier, Frazier right, right. who wrote the famous book on the, the Negro family in, in 1939, mm -hmm. who also praised Du Bois, who said a similar thing in one of his black family mm -hmm. studies. Mm -hmm. and, and so I could not wrap my head around the fact that this idea about the broken black family mm -hmm. was largely coined by a black scholar. Right. And I think everybody now recognizes how um, harmful that idea is, mm -hmm. how it sort of justified the assault on welfare, mm -hmm. how it justified the assault on black women, mm -hmm. how it justified so many assaults in the latter part of the 20th century. And so ultimately I'm saying that I think that was the first recognition of it, yeah. that you, mm -hmm. I could not um, separate the intellectual genealogy of some of these ideas. But I think what was critical was realizing what racist ideas do to people. Mm, and, mm -hmm. and I realized that no matter the racial group, when a person was anti-black, when a person thought that there was something wrong with black people, they spent their time intellectually and even in terms of organizations either trying to civilize black people, mm. attack black people, mm -hmm. attack everything but the real problem, which was racism which was right. white supremacy. Right, right. And so that black people can be racist too, particularly to black people. Mm -hmm. And that ultimately internalized racism was the real black on black crime. Mm. 